Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of the Rolling with Ranzo series. Some of you guys might remember the last episode where I was trapped in a Japanese love hotel, unfortunately, but I did successfully escape, right? And this is a continuation of that episode. Well, it's a series, so this is episode number two, technically, right? So I'm still in Yamanashi, and this is a series of me just traveling through Japan, just exploring the country blindly, seeing what I can discover, what I can find. So this is episode number two. And since I'm no longer trapped within a hotel, I'm going to explore Yamanashi today. So this is episode number two. So come and journey with me. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So I'm still in Yamanashi and uh, just exited the hotel. And um, I was driving around because, as, as I said before, well, I guess I never said this to you guys, but I'm trying to just explore blindly. So I'm not trying to do any research prior to my visits. Um, this might not be the case in all you know, instances, but you know, I came out of the hotel without any plans as it relates to where I want to go today. And while I was driving, I passed by this, what appears to be a castle. And in the past, I did see a video about a castle, and it, I guess this might be the castle, so let's go up there and see what it has to offer. That's the point of this journey. Going deep, seeing what's on the streets. Okay, so it's in fact the Kofu Castle. The castle is behind me, right? But to be honest, I'm actually contemplating whether or not I want to walk all the way there because it seems pretty vast. I was looking on the map, um, and it looks pretty vast. So I'm just like, man, am, am I up to walking? That's why I got the hat on because I'm like, it's a very nice day, at least 30 degrees Celsius, right? Um, so I'm just trying to figure out like, if I'm gonna take it out or not. But I, I think I should, man. It's, this is what it's, this is about, so we're gonna check it out. So for an idea of scale, I am, I'm actually here. And this is a vast expanse of this park and castle area. Let's move over to the Japanese garden and see what that has to offer. It looks like this behind me is in fact the Japanese garden. I was expecting something else uh, based on what I am used to from, uh, you know, well, one of my favorite Japanese gardens or at least a couple of my favorites. Um, it's usually very spectacular. I'm not saying this isn't. Um, I haven't, I don't see the bonsai. And I guess, I guess you, know what's, you know what? What it's missing is actually some water, a little pond. That's what it's missing. Some of those are koi fishes right that's what it's missing so we've got a temple behind me it looks like no one is inside there the temple doesn't appear to be used but I could be wrong right because I haven't read any literature on it so that's just an assumption so I decided to uh, <laughs> just leave and head to the fruit picking area uh, so pretty much what happened was I never made my way to the castle. I believe it's all the way over um, Where that obelisk is in that direction, but I <laughs> decided not to venture uh, Too much further. It was hella hot um, so I decided to um, Leave and head to the fruit picking spot. I See some plums and I believe they do have peaches as well Hopefully maybe potentially I can get some grapes Oh, it says Momo. So it might just be peaches, actually. Uh, let's get to picking. So I'm gonna be doing it for one hour. It's gonna cost me 1,500 N. That's about $13 US. Um, one hour, you go around, you can pick whatever you want and you can eat at the same time. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Of course, my family, they aren't here yet. Uh, we might, I guess, come back or uh, go somewhere else, but we'll see. So crash course, let me just give you guys the details. Um, this orchard, um, there are three types of peaches. They have no plums currently, um, so I'm only permitted to pick. Well, then again, there's no plums here. The plums I showed you guys earlier is on a separate orchard, so it's not this one. They have three types of uh, peaches. Well, when it comes on to like the sweetest one, that tree right there is, is one. Um, so I just remembered how this thing works. So the way it works is that you you go into an orchard or on one of the fruit farm farms. You pick whatever you can eat, you eat, right? But you can't take anything out. If you're gonna pack something, you have to purchase it outside. Some places, you they weigh what you have. Like when you go blueberry picking, for instance, 
they weigh the fruits, whatever it comes up to based on the weight, you pay for that, you exit. Um, here, they have these boxes, um, pre-priced, so when you go there, you see the boxes, you decide, uh, you know, what you're gonna take, how much you're gonna pay for it. So a box of peaches is like 20 bucks. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go around. I'm not a peach fan, to be honest. I'm more of a plum dude, so when I saw the trees over that side, I was a bit optimistic uh, <laughs> that I would be able to get that. Um, the plums, I should say, but that's not the case. Can't find what I'm looking for. I've yet to pick one of these myself, all right, so far. Two were given to me, two plums and one peach fell from the tree. And I picked it up, but I haven't, <laughs> I have not picked any yet. They have some big ones over this side. Have a look. These are massive, I ain't gonna lie. But quite hard. Oh, with this one. Oh, this one's rotten. Ugh. The insects got to it already before I did. actually pretty good it's different from the store-bought one um, maybe it's because this one is like well ripe my hour is almost over time to leave so at the pump station for 500 and this is about about eight you would not get this in a grocery store for 500 maybe I don't know I don't think so man fruits here in the stores are quite expensive My family should have been here with me, but they're a bit delayed. Uh, they should be here today, this evening, tomorrow. Like while I was driving just now, I saw this place. Um, it, it's like a, a forest area in the middle of the city. So I'm gonna go over there and see what we can find, yeah? I saw a tour gate inside there. So it might be a temple or a shrine or something like that. Uh, we'll find out. I don't see anyone. They got a bunch of toy gates here. Okay, it looks like a shrine. these massive trees this ground is so soft honestly I don't even know if I, I should be walking through this place I don't even know but it's beautiful the journey continues guys this is a beautiful spot I'm not gonna lie a very very beautiful place very very beautiful place that I can have to apply so I'm at the hotel. I'm going with my family. They're pretty close by. Oh, that's Tiffy. It's my daughter. And this is my wife. Where is she at? Okay, so we're home. So I'm in the room. Uh, they got the tatami set up here. I can't use this thing because I can't kneel down for 50 years and eat or write or do work or whatever. <laughs> I know the Japanese and Asian people usually can do it because they do have the flexibility or maybe they, pra they practice since they were younger. Mm -hmm. 